What's going on guys? I hope everyone's doing well. I want to make a video that I think is going to be pretty popular, mainly because I get asked time and time again what accessory is best for this or what should I use for that. So I want to make a video that outlines what I think are some of the best accessories for your truck that you can buy on Amazon Prime. Now, I can't go specifically into make by make, model by model of truck. So I don't know if you drive a truck that has TPMS built into it. I don't know if you drive one that doesn't. What I wanna do is just provide a general outline of accessories that I've grown to like that you can buy on Amazon and get shipped to you very quickly. You may be able to pick some of these up locally, but the reason why I'm specifically doing Amazon is because it's a general way for most people to order something and know that they're gonna get it versus having to hunt around to try to find something. My goal here is really to help you find what might be the best possible accessory for a specific need you may have. Now first, I wanna talk about one that appeared in a video I just recently made, and that is the tire step. Now several manufacturers make it, several manufacturers essentially share the exact same design. The only big difference I've seen is the all tread brand that I use has a much, much more aggressive tread pattern to it, which can really help if you're leaning over the hood, if you're trying to work on your vehicle, especially if it's wet or slippery outside, it's gonna grip your feet a lot better than some of the other ones I've seen that have more of a flat platform. Number two is another accessory that I use specifically to monitor the dually tire pressure in my truck. Now, I have a 450 and I don't have the TPMS monitoring system on it. However, I know a lot of people have it from the factory on their 350s, on their 250s or F-150s, but there's a lot of people with older vehicles that don't have a good TPMS monitoring system, especially one that will go past 100 PSI. Many of the systems out there only go to about 80 PSI. The specific one that I've had, I've been using, I've never taken it out, it stays plugged in all the time, and it's been able to withstand the heat and the temperatures of South Texas consistently, and it's worked well. Plus, it goes up to 116 PSI. So if you're putting this on a heavier duty truck, you know that you have the ability to monitor your tire pressure beyond the normal 80 PSI that you might see on some lighter duty vehicles. The next one is a dash cam that I've had tremendous success with. It's worked very, very well for me when others haven't. I've probably been through 10 dash cams and most of them fail from the heat within about three months to a year of putting them in. This particular system I've had in this truck and I've had in two prior trucks and it works phenomenal. I have not had the system go out on me one time yet and it just works really, really well. So very happy with this specific dash cam setup and it's probably one that'll work well for you too wherever you live. Now a lot of people have run into situations where they have very expensive hitches on their truck and they need a hitch pin that is just designed to withstand the potential of theft better than others. Basically one that might take longer to break into a break off. And I really recommend the Bolt 5 8 inch receiver lock. You can have it keyed to match your specific ignition key as well, which comes in really handy if you don't want to carry a bunch of keys around or figure out where you put your key so you can unlock it. I highly recommend this product specifically because it's a harder unit to break into, or at least it takes longer, and you can have it keyed to match your vehicle. Now an item that I really can't give a recommendation on that people might expect are LED bulb replacements for their vehicle. Mainly because there are so many different brands out there, it's hard to really identify which one's gonna work well, which one's gonna generate too much heat, and if it's clockable to where you can actually adjust it so it works better with the specific lens housing you have in your vehicle. So unfortunately, you're not gonna get an LED light bulb recommendation from my channel. Most of the time, they just don't work well with your factory housing. They produce too much oncoming glare and they end up blinding people in front of you. Now, an accessory that I carry with me all the time, especially when we have the RV, is a tire repair kit. It's a 56 piece kit made by Boulder Tools. It works very, very well and it gives you just about every tool you would need for every punctured tire situation. Now, of course, it's not gonna help if your tire gets torn off or if you have a major rupture where it's a long tear, but it can definitely save you if you are in a pinch because you get a screw or you get some type of a sharp object inside of your tire. And for under 40 bucks, it's definitely worth it. 
Now this one's a little pricier, it's over 100 bucks, but I do recommend the Viair 300P, which is a portable air compressor, for most people who need that emergency air compressor for their vehicle. Now you guys have probably seen the videos that I've done on those SAE compliant fog lights, the ones that produce a really crisp, clean, and bright cutoff line. In my opinion, for 100 bucks, that's a very affordable price for something that's compliant with SAE and DOT laws. What I would recommend is if you have an aftermarket bumper, this would be a really good fit for it simply because it's not gonna blind oncoming folks. Already did a video on these and you guys already know how I feel about them. For 100 bucks, definitely worth the price. Now we're gonna get into some more expensive accessories. So these are some that specifically if you drive a truck and you do any type of trailering, you might wanna consider. As you guys know, I am a huge fan of B&W products. I think they are probably some of the best built trailering products you can purchase. As you guys know, I already have the B&W Tow and Stow receiver hitch. It's a tri-ball hitch, which means it's gonna have your one and seven eighths, your two inch and your two and five sixteen inch ball already on it. And when you're not using it, it flips in out of the way, so you never really have to remove it. I highly recommend their hitches. They are probably in all reality bulletproof, so it's not really the term of just saying bulletproof. These things are built exceptionally well, and you can always trust a B&W hitch on the back of your vehicle. Now, if you have a fifth wheel, I highly recommend the B&W companion hitch. Depending on how much your fifth wheel weighs, whether you need a slider hitch for a short bed truck or you need their traditional companion puck system hitch that drops right in, I do highly recommend B&W hitches for both conventional and fifth wheel towing. Now, if you're in a towing situation and you need a hitch that gives you the numbers of specifically how much you're putting on the tongue of your vehicle, I would highly recommend the Waysafe hitch. So Waysafe actually has a conventional hitch with a scale built into it so you can see specifically how much weight you're putting on the tongue of your vehicle. That can come in very, very handy, especially if you're going to be hauling around trailers that can vary in weight depending on the payload that's on them. And then finally, Husky liners. Absolutely love them. I know a lot of people out there are WeatherTech fans. WeatherTech makes a great liner, but I've been using Husky liners in my trucks going back probably 10 years. Absolutely love them. They hold up great. They're made in the US. And in my opinion, it's a better option primarily because you don't have to deal with the chance of slipping on it as much as you would with other floor liners. These specific floor liners are made from a really hard rubber, but they're not as slick as plastic when they get wet, if you get snow, if you get water on them. And in my opinion, they're the best you can get. So the next best truck accessory, and this isn't really just for trucks, it could be for any type of passenger vehicle, is a magnetic phone mount. And in my opinion, it's the very best mounting system you can use on a vehicle when wanting to put your phone somewhere. I specifically like the type that uses the double-sided adhesive to secure it to your vehicle. That way you're not having to drill into anything and you're not having to worry about your suction cup mount falling off the windshield when it gets hot or humid outside. The adhesive style is definitely more of a pain if you wanna remove it, but it works a lot better, it's more compact, and you can put it just about anywhere as long as you prep the surface that you're attaching it to. In my opinion, to get two of these things for 10 bucks is really, really a phenomenal value, and they come in really handy. You can put them on just about any type of vehicle, period, and they work really well. Now, there's a couple different brands. The ones that I've shown you is about the best value you can get. And one item that I forgot to mention, so I'm throwing it in here at the end, is the TGL hitch step. So you guys may remember that I have the Smitty built version of this. The big difference, and really I think it's the only difference because it's pretty much an exact copy, is the fact that the TGL step has a tread pattern on it. It looks like it has kind of a diamond plate pattern that keeps you from slipping off of it as easy, which is definitely a concern if you're dealing with something like this. You may be using it in a wet or muddy environment or climate, and the last thing you want to do is slip off and then hit your shin on the hitch step. Sounds painful just thinking about it. So I do highly recommend the TGL hitch step. It's about a $60 item. It's got really, really good reviews. You can use it as a tow point. You can use it as a step. And more importantly, and probably the best reason to have one of these is for those people who are texting while driving and don't see that you've stopped, continue to go and hit your bumper. You put something like this on your truck, you're probably gonna fare better than they are if that happens. Anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed this short video. I'll put the link to these products in the description of my video along with the Amazon purchasing link so if you're a Prime member, you'll get this stuff fast. 
Guys, once again, if you haven't had a chance, please take a moment, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and I will talk to you again soon.